Welcome to Cardinal Scales Vehicle Recording Software, Wind VRS. This video will take you through some of the general functions of the software, as well as demonstrate a transaction. Remember, Win VRS is able to be customized to an incredible degree, so you should consider this video more of a general overview of capabilities rather than a how-to. Let's start with a brief introduction to the main functions of Win VRS. After logging into the system, the main menu's listed functions are Summary Reports, Manual Transaction, Utilities, Processing, Disk Utilities and Vehicle, Account and Material ID Maintenance Databases. Summary Reports displays a variety of reports that are generated from stored transaction information or other data and can be displayed in a variety of ways. There is a chronological transaction log, vehicle summary and log, material summary and chart, account detail and general account summary, invoices, logs, transaction type summary, and a bar graph report for hourly, daily, and monthly transactions. As you can see, the list is extensive and all of these reports can be previewed and printed with a specified period of time to suit your needs. Manual transaction is used to generate a transaction record and weigh ticket manually. It is up to the operator here to enter the gross and tear weight. Typically this is done for one-time loads and customers who don't have accounts, or for existing accounts who haven't registered a truck into the database. Customarily, you would want to always enter their vehicles, but if it's a one-time transaction, or if you're on a time constraint, or even if its transaction is being entered in retrospect, then this is the method you would choose. The manual transaction screen has a blue background as well to immediately differentiate it from the normal transaction menu, so there is no confusion as to which you are using. Utilities houses a few system maintenance functions and is also where individual transactions can be edited or groups of transactions deleted. It is important to note that individual transactions cannot be deleted. However, they can be individually voided. Under Set Ticket Headings, you can also enter your company information, sales motto, or any contact information you would like to appear at the top of printed tickets. Processing is where reports can be generated based on a specified timeline. The reports can be customized entirely to show only desirable information and the settings stored so that future processing is merely a one-button operation. This is a very powerful tool that, once set up properly, eliminates several steps. Disk Utilities is used to import and export databases. All information in WinVRS is present and accessible here and available to be generated into a database file. It is similar to summary reports, but includes much more information that WinVRS uses. Vehicle, Account, and Material ID Maintenance are where identity information may be entered into a database to aid in a smoother, more automated transaction. This information must be entered prior to a transaction sequence in order to be accessed at the time of the transaction. The information is stored in a cross-reference database and is easily brought up during a transaction, further streamlining the process, eliminating manual entry errors, and improving performance. Let's create a few new entries for a fictional client. First, let's set up the account under Account ID Maintenance. Our client's company is called Davis Brothers Rock Quarry. The ID field is limited to 15 characters, so let's keep the ID simple as DBRQ, and then click the Add Update button. This brings us to the Add Account screen where we can enter all the contact information for the company, as well as indicate if they are a taxable company, whether their credit is acceptable, or even whether or not to print charges onto their tickets. Now, let's get their vehicle registered. We'll call their vehicle DBRQ101. The scale shows the weight of the empty truck as 12,580 pounds, so we set that as the weight of the vehicle. 
At the Add Vehicle menu, you can specify the weight of the truck and a few more options as well as link it to an account or even a material for those companies who strictly handle just one type. The material ID database is typically set up prior to any clients and is your inventory. Let's edit the pricing on the large rock entry to $90 per ton. That concludes the overview. In the next video, we will highlight the configuration menu, where more powerful options are located that you can use to fully customize your Win VRS experience.